criminals running around on cash bond. I just don't like, they don't have anything to lose. Nothing to lose. Well, I think sometimes they keep the, the wrong ones, you know, in jail and the right ones out of jail. I think it's stupid. I, I think I've, I've worked for the system for 28 years and I think it's about the dumbest thing Illinois has come up with so far. Safety Act. This is the controversial measure which eliminates cash bail. Illinois will be the first state in the nation to end cash bail starting next year. And that is sparking a concern that more criminals could be out on the street. The controversy is still raging over Illinois' new Safety Act. The Safety Act was voted on in the middle of the night. It was passed through in the middle of the night last year and signed by Governor Pritzker. I've heard of that bill and I think it's pretty scary actually. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. <laughs> you don't like it? No. I don't like it. Why not? They ought to have to do something. If you're just going to take them in and turn them back loose, they no doubt can do the same thing all over again. No repercussions. Worked at the sheriff's office for over 20 years. I don't like it either. Yeah. I think that ever you have to you have to be responsible for your actions. And there's only one way to teach someone responsibility for their actions, and that's to make them pay for what they do. Uh, I, th I think it's a bad move. I think people uh, ought to be held until their trial, unless they have cash to bail out, because that makes them more responsible and more likely to come back for the trial. No, I do not think it will make the state safer at all. If they're not going to arrest them, they're, they're just going to keep redoing crimes. I mean, that's, yeah. that's nature of the beast. Well, you're turning them right back loose for whatever they did. There's no repercussions. They'd go do it again. Why not? If they know they're going to get out, take me down, slap my hands, send me home. If they're on my property, they're getting off. I don't care if I have to call the police or not. They're going to be. They're going to be exiting my property. You got a right to have your own private property. And if you don't want people on it, they shouldn't be able to come. There ought to be repercussions. I mean, if somebody's robbing my house and the cops ain't going to arrest them, the police ain't going to arrest them, I'm going to, I'm going to take matters in my own hands. I mean, anybody would. Well, I think it's kind of a sad thing that the police can't remove them because if it's left up to the property owner and they try to do it, then more than likely they'll be the people that get in trouble and say the trespasser. So, you know, it's supposed to be left into the hands of the people with the authority. And now it looks like it's trying to divert it back into uh, the hands of just the general public. They're the ones who's going to get punished for trying to protect their own property. I come from a family of law enforcement, and I don't think they're really excited about it from what the conversations I've had with them, so that makes me not really excited about it. Police's uh, hands are being tied on a lot of issues, and a, a lot of policemen are, are not are quitting or retiring early and a lot of police departments cannot even uh, fill the need that they have with vacancies. So where are we at with that?